Charizard just so he could get better yeah, results. Yeah, this is off one of the Space biggest matchups. reasons that uh, the Meta Knight exists is this matchup because ZSS destroys both Toon Link and Charizard. Uh, yeah, most definitely. So Ooh. he needed a new character. Nice catch of the turning winner to immediately go for up air. Oh, the down. That was really interesting. He gets right inside him with an air, and he thought he was going to cross him up, but he just fades back, which kind of tripped Shogio up. He ended up dying right after that, so it's not a big deal, but creativity from RJ right now. And it was nice to call out Shokyo going off of stage and catching with the fair, basically telling him, I know I'm at a really good combo weight, but you shouldn't come here. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta you gotta make your opponent scared of you. you. Gotta make them pick. Mix-ups don't happen until your opponent knows to do something else. Which uh, brings me to a point of like a lot of people, I feel like, tend to overcomplicate things. Mm -hmm. Don't adapt to your opponent if they're just not, ad not adapting to you. Yeah. If the same thing is gonna work over and over again, do the same thing over and over again. Not in friendlies, of course, because you gotta learn. But in tournament, you gotta do what you gotta do. And these two players have played each other quite often, and. There's a habit that I just picked up, and I definitely feel like Apathy did as well. If Shokio is ever in a corner from the left or right side of the ledge, he's going to immediately roll back. And it's a habit that a lot of players at the low and high level do. Yeah, you gotta, you want to get to center stage so badly, mm -hmm. and you're just like, eh, rolling's bad, but and I need to get there. That's how Apathy got his first stock, is that he read the roll in and immediately caught him with a back air. Mm -hmm. uh, Shogi's not really super good at getting out of the corner, I've noticed. Mm -hmm. If Apathy does more just holding center stage, I think it would go a long way. I think he should use back throw mm -hmm. more. I think he can get the down throw follow-ups as you've seen. However, back throw is just as good for tech chasing, and it'll force Shoki to the corner, which is like the position where Shoki is definitely the weakest. I also think that the or the amount of time that you have to react com on back air than you do on back throw or back throw instead yeah. of down throw is just a better timing in general. Because it's it's hard to say because back throw you have more time, but down throw sends them less far. Yeah. So it's like a pick your poison, whichever you're most comfortable with. But the thing about back throw is if you down throw and they keep dying away, you're gonna they're gonna get off stage. However, back throw sends them back and forth, so they end up relatively in the same position over and over again. <coughs> Ooh. Uh, I like I like the fact that apathy goes for dash attack, but it's definitely not one of the strongest moves at, or Meta Knight has as yeah. a character. Boost grab is so much better. Mm -hmm. Boost grab goes just as far as dash attack, but you get a grab instead. Yeah. And, and grabbing is good. More solid conversions, especially in this matchup, because mm -hmm. if there's any plus that Meta Knight has as a character, it's just tech chasing in general. <laughs> the side B. Oh, and Joker gets the ground and grabs him. I want to see... I know Apathy was practicing this earlier, but I want to see him experiment more with Bacchus mm -hmm. to catch dash back. That's such a good launcher. We're also not really seeing a lot of conversions off of Dimensional Cape. We saw him go it for it once in the air and then never again. Mm -hmm. He uh, barely missed it. I think the side B earlier was off of the up air on his this stock was supposed to be a Dimensional Cape, but it happens. And that small catch at relatively, I think it was like 90%, uh, definitely going to cost them. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And we have Shokyo opting out, going for the African Roy of the Turning oh, Locator Oh, you gotta love the African Roy. So here's the thing about this matchup is that Lunchables thinks that it's technically, it's probably Meta Knight favor. However, no Meta Knight is good enough to beat him, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> so it's like, and practice, it's my, it's Roy favor, but realistically, Meta Knight can kind of bop Roy. We're gonna see a lot of tech chasing in this matchup along with just immediately run up or cancel the dash by crouching and then going for down tilt. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's gonna be this is gonna be a down tilt battle. Mm -hmm. Although normally the Roy Jr. down tilt is just you can out crouch cancel people. But now you're facing Roy's real down tilt. So it does not work. But with like one nair you can get Roy off stage so easily and then if you sneeze on him he explodes. But something that you get to see a lot from Meta Knight versus a lot of Fire Emblem boys is if you're going into immediately tech chase or down tilt, it can, if you go for your down tilt and try to crouch cancel it, uh, <laughs> oh my god. 
you can get uh, caught up, get straight into knockdown, and then dimensional cape. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you have to be really careful as a sword boy when you're going to go for your down tilt. Yeah. Minette, although one of the worst tech rules in the game, mm -hmm. he compensates for that by having arguably the best tech chase game in the game. And there's the down throw. Waits for it. That was super smart. And uh, I was talking to Apathy earlier about what he do or does when he tech chases is he always looks for tech in place or no tech at all. Mm -hmm. uh, so he can either get re-grab if he's right in front of you or immediately dimensional cape in place. Okay, so there's this is a thing that a lot of people don't know about reaction is that anticipation increases reaction. And the hardest thing to react to is tech in place and no tech. So if you anticipate that and then just react to the tech away or tech behind, it, tech chasing becomes so much easier. It's just something I've learned from lots of chic tech chasing on spaces. <laughs> but it applies with Meta Knight really well, too. Especially because most characters don't have like a tech roll as long as like Falco's. Mm -hmm. So, and Meta Knight's tech chase game is arguably probably better than Cheek's off of Grab. Especially since Meta Knight is just so fast as a character in general. Oh, he might be too dead. Good wait from Chokyo, and that down air to shield's gonna... Oh my god, RJ, oh. just hold the ledge, you idiot! Hold the ledge or just go for Nair. Something more consistent rather than yeah. going for... I mean, Roy was dead if he just rolled. Mm -hmm. RJ just likes to hit things too much. And you are saying it to him earlier in friendlies, is just don't overcomplicate things. Yeah, don't overcomplicate things. Just oh. keep it simple. Being simple is broken in this game. Waiting and abusing the options that really, like, hurt your opponent are... That's how you win in this game. And that... Good read, just immediately hold neutral B for the Flare Blade uh, from Shokyo. Really going to get him that stock that he needed. As I say, he loses his. Yeah, but, but it that is a, just a coincidence in all honesty. Oh, we're just dashing through each other, not really using moves. Now we're using moves. And it was good. He immediately waited for tech in, or oh. get up in place. Covering the option. And I think that's going to be a dead Roy. Yeah, that is it. <coughs> Where's recovery? Not the best in the world. Not sure if Shokyo's regretting this decision. He's gonna go ZSS. Or he's gonna stay, stay Roy. Up. So I would ban Green Home Fountain, yeah. Mm. Uh, I think Roy arguably having Fountain be at his best stage. Arguably, I think Green Hill's really good in that matchup just because mm. you're really good he's really good at catching landings. Yeah. I don't think Wario Land or Fountain are actually that bad in this matchup because Meta Knight's really good on Fountain. Mm -hmm. And Wario Land, the, the, so here's the problem with small stages against Meta Knight with Roy, is that any individual hit is so much more likely to knock you off stage. Mm -hmm. So you're going to be put in edgeguard situations so much more easily. But we got a Shokyo combo. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, he fell through and Shokyo was just ready with that meaty forward smash. Very smart. And I love seeing this with a lot of conversions immediately on to platform is wave landing on or on top, pivoting, going for the shield and just grabbing instead of going for any hit on shield. Throw ooh. I appeared to combo break out of that down the down B follow up. That was neat. Are just trying to play patiently. Another dash deck, but that was a smart dash deck mm -hmm. because it just caught him before he could land, so there was no crouch cancel percentage. And I, I mean like I said, like yeah, like we said earlier, dash attack not really being one of Meta Knight's strongest moves, but definitely can catch the movement if you're moving or mm -hmm. on stage too much. It only have, it has its purposes, especially against like projectiles, mm -hmm. because the problem with Meta Knight is that all of his moves are transcendent, except for dash attack. So he's gonna trade every time, which is also a bit. It's also a blessing, however, it has its flaws. Yeah. So dash attack is definitely a saving grace for him. Oh, that get up attack just to catch the forward smash. Very nice. And it's very good to s see Apathy mix it up off of down tilt and going for a grab instead of just. Oh, the American the Airlines, the finish, the landing. <laughs> <laughs> the taunt canceling coming out from Apathy. Oh, there's the up throw. Good <coughs> no DI. If he would have DI'd away, Shoki probably could have gotten maybe a back air off of that. Ooh. Shoki. Going a little aggressive, going for. <laughs> he just blades. wants to, f to fire up. Well, he could be dead. Wall. Oh my God, RJ, hold the ledge. I'm gonna get so mad by the end of this set. <laughs> All he has to do is roll. Because honestly, it's one of the most fundamental things you could do is just hold ledge on recovery and then cover the option. He could have been up three above. stocks to one right now, mm -hmm. and said Roy killed him. 
Ooh, nice DI going in and then immediately falling down. Ooh, there's the down throw follow-up. Gets barely missed faces outside of it, and Meta Knight gets a grab. And honestly, because of Meta Knight's weight, one, I mean, it hurts him because of great combo weight, but if he immediately hits the ground, he can shield, and you can't really extend as much as you think you would going Yeah, forward. not at all. Oh, gets him in the corner. Shogu fighting out, though. Yeah, Shogu almost always starts when he's in the corner with Roy just by dashing back and then immediately dashing in. Mm -hmm. So RJ looks like he's caught on to that. Even if he hasn't, he's just doing the smart thing and just holding center. And this stock is probably the most important of this game. Because... Ooh, that down tilt clips him. And there's the nair. That was a, a really good nair to catch the immediate high recovery. And RJ with another taunt cancel. Apti is popping off. All right, he caught the roll back. Oh yeah, not gonna kill just yet. Meta Knight falls pretty fast. Oh, I it actually looked like Shokyo got that grab. And Roy got lost. Oh, that was close. There are, there are some really good adaptations that we're seeing from both of these players though. Uh, 